Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yamla, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth and who rule well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that are spread around the four, corner, four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and the truth. Shalom to the whole full elect. I'm the brother Kota Zabsayan, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai with another lesson, with another video. And Lord willing, this video is edifying. Gone. So, this devil, YouTube, you know, they put a strike on my channel. So I can't be able to upload videos for about a week. Because this is the notice I got. Your content content is is erased and you can't be able to upload for one week and it was actually a video that i had reposted from some channel or that i got from somebody so it wasn't even a, a video that i made i just reposted it and it's a it's an old video also you know so this devil is going into your archive trying to get the truth out of uh, away from youtube you know because in yeah i don't even want to speak on what was in this video because they might you know catch the words the algorithm of youtube might catch the words of what i'm saying right here and then they're they're also going to strike this uh, video gone so basically i'm going to be uploading videos on my secondary channel which is GMS Holland the Great Gathering on the 44 3x that's where I'm gonna be uploading my latest videos during this week you know but yeah man this is that only proves that GMS had the has the one hundred percent truth, and that you know they're leaving these other camps alone because these other camps they have that five hundred one c three contract with Esau with the devil with the so called white man, so they are not speaking about the one hundred percent truth. They're leaving bits and pieces out. You know, those are spokesmen for Esau. These other camps because they are leading the Israelites onto their their own destruction, their own demise. But we have been called by the Spirit of Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Lord willing, through the elders and apostles of Great Millstone to feed the flock and to gather the, the, the sheep, you know, into the barn. That we also are, um, as it says in John 10, we are also the... the but let me just go to it. Where the shepherds gone, but you have the one good shepherd, which is Yahweh Shai, but we are following in his footsteps. This is John 10, verse 11. I am the good shepherd. This red letter, so this is Yahweh Shai speaking. That's the person that everybody ignorantly calls Jesus, which is a which he's a so called black man, he has skin. As, a, as fine brass that was burnt in a furnace, he has fiery red eyes, he has white woolly hair, and he looks like his father. And we also look like Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. So we are the children of the Most High here on earth. And we have been punished, we are being punished for all the sins that we committed. You know, that we didn't follow the law, statutes and commandments and, and love Yahweh Shai and Yahweh with all our hearts. So that's why we are being punished right now. And especially the two thirds. You see that there's a spirit of vengeance roaming around. But Yahweh is how we have that hedge because we run into Yahweh Basham Yahushai for shelter. You know? This is uh, John 10, verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Gone. That's what we're doing, man. We're giving our bodies as a li living sacrifice. Why? To, to bring the sheep home, you know, to get the hell up out of here. 
when we give our lives, this is a, this is a sign of love that we're doing. This is a thing of love. We are not standing in the highways and byways to only reject and rebuke people. No, we are here to bring in the fold. The ones that come and do sincerely ask questions, we sincerely answer them. But if you come into in like a manner that is, you know, offensive, that is, uh, uh, yeah, how could I say it? Mm. Hostile, if you come in, into, in, in a hostile manner, then we are also going to be hostile against you. You see? Go on. And these other camps, their hirelings, as the scripture says. This is John 10, verse 12. But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is an hireling, and careth not for the sheep. You see? But we, Yara Tazar, we care for the sheep, we, we, tend for, we tend for the sheep, you know? We take care of the sheep, so that when that one good shepherd, which is Yahweh Shai, comes, that we can, as good servants, as good shepherds, show him the, the sheep that we took care of, you know. Hmm. This is heavy, man. Let's read further. Verse 14. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep, and I, it's like an am known of mine. Gone. So he knows the sheep, and the sheep recognize his voice. You know, that's why the the true worshippers of Yahweh Bashem Yarashai, they're not going to be offended by the word. You know, they're going to be struck and struck by the word, because the the word cuts through a bone and marrow. You're going to be cut by it, but you're going to be refined by it. You're going to be perfected by it, but you're not going to be offended by it. If you understand what I mean. Verse 15, as the Father knoweth me, even so know I, the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. So Yahweh Shai, he's, he laid down his life for the sheep. So like for the sheep, as in Isaiah 53 says, you know, he took away our transgressions. Come on. But not to go off topic. Because this thing what Esau is trying to do here, he's trying to censor the truth, you know. But there's nothing that he can do against the truth but for the truth because the, the men of GMS are pumping this truth at a high volume and then he thinks he's going to stop us, he's going to muffle us, you know, put a, a gag on us, try to cover our mouths. But that's just the will of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. There's going to be a time that we are not going to be found anymore on the streets, and neither on YouTube. You see? This is Amos 8, verse 11 and 12. Behold, the days come, saith Jehovah, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and shall not find it. Gone. So that's that time period that's going to come up, you know. Because we are seeing that YouTube is really acting up. They're going after the, the channels of the elders. They're going after all the channels that speak about this this social distancing act of theirs you see i, I don't even want to speak the the word and the, uh, the 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 shortened versions of these words i just want to let me just call it the social distancing act because he doesn't want the truth out there he just wants to keep the people in fear and actually he's also attacking the truth you know, but in order for you for you to delete the truth, you have to know what the truth is. 
because all the lies you're leaving up there. There's no problem with all these other channels. They're not being taken down or, or stricken down by YouTube. But they are going after a specific group, a specific um, phrase. They're going after specific people. You know, there's that algorithm that they made, which is uh, computers that are just figuring out, uh, putting words together and then trying to seek for these words on the internet, on YouTube. So they are doing these things to get the truth out there, to stop the truth so that they can come with their, 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 their falseness, with their falsehood, with their lies. But what did Yahweh Basham Yahushai say? He said that he's going to make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. This is Psalms 64, verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. See? So, Yahweh Shem Yahusha is causing these Edomites to spill their own beans. Because Satan divided against Satan, a house like that is not going to be able to stand. And you have all these whistleblowers that are speaking out on this, this corruption, on this, this uh, way that Esau is ruling his kingdom. Let's go to the book of Psalms. 74. This is Psalm 74, verse 9. We see not our sign, there is no more any prophet, neither is there among us any that knoweth how long. God, and this is what they're going to be saying when the men of the Lord are not in the highways and byways or on YouTube. They're going to say that they're not seeing any signs. They're not understanding what's happening around them. They don't see any prophets. Because the men of the Lord, they measure the times. How? Through the, through the scriptures. The signs that they see, the signs that the men of the Lord see, they, they filter everything through the scriptures and through the prophecies. That's how they can profess. You see? There's going to be a time where these people are not going to get this information anymore, man. Let me close it off with this. Ezekiel 33. Verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, let me see. Gone. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, though it tarry, wait for it, as it says in the book of Habakkuk, then shall they know that the prophet had been among them. You see? So when they see these things come to pass that they heard of, that they once heard the men of the Lord speak on at uh, Amsterdam Belmar Arena, you know, when they walked past, when they didn't take heed, when they heard that voice behind them, that uh, lo, this is the way, walk ye in it. When they see all these things are going to come to pass, then they're going to be running to and fro and seeking for the men of the Lord. But then it's going to be over and done with because then the judgment is going to come. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to rain the judgment because he already warned the people of what's going to happen. You see? So then these the men of the Lord are going to seek shelter. Then the men of the Lord are not going to be able to be found. Because the because of the judgment, they also have to take take have a how you call it shed. They have to go to their shed. They have to go to their um, yeah fortress. So like in the can't really come on the right word right now. They also have to be in solitude, man, because we can't be all open in the open in that time because there's gonna be persecution for the men of the Lord. Esau is going to come for the men of the Lord. So we are going to be in hiding. You see? So let me actually shut, close it off with this. Isaiah 55 verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. 
You see, and that's the time we're living in right now, that ye can still seek the Lord. Because if you come into the truth right now, you have so much information that you can just gather and write down, and then you can digest it. You see? Um, so this was just a quick update of my channel that I'm going to be uploading my videos on this channel. So come check me out on this channel and Yahweh Ratiza. This video is edifying. I want to say Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rekha Kodash, Shalom Amakim.